let's be honest, golfing has to be the most boring sport of all freaking time. I mean, who freaking watches this shit? You have to be over the age of like 85 just to have your attention span last this long. I mean, like, golf is so boring, I'd rather walk over Flycos for 10 minutes straight than watch an hour of freaking golf. Let's be honest, if you ever won golfing, which to be honest, I only won golfing like one freaking time because it was so freaking boring, the best part about golfing is just driving the golf cart. Everything else is freaking boring. Golfing by itself is boring. Getting the tee out the freaking bag is boring. Placing the tee down is boring. The 10 seconds that it takes to put the freaking golf ball on the freaking tee while you have to wait for the wind to calm the hell down before the freaking golf ball falls off the freaking tee is boring. Hitting the golf ball is not boring, but it's not the most fun thing in the world. So if golf is kind of boring to play and even more boring to freaking watch, how the hell do they make this much freaking money? Friday, 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 Friday! New videos every Friday! Now I know Tiger Woods might not pass the eye test, but I assure you, this is what success looks like. Now despite the mild hair loss and whatever the hell he was about to say, at the age of 21, Tiger Woods was rich enough to kill his wife and get away with it. Literally, at the age of 21, this man was making $50 million a year to play freaking golf. I mean, who is freaking watching this? Who is paying to watch somebody play freaking golf? No offense to Tiger Woods, but in my opinion, the most entertaining thing this man has ever done is go to freaking jail. I mean, this man's mugshot is the definition of a picture's worth more than a thousand words. This man looks like he's been through hell and back more than once. I'm not just gonna have to give off some booty. And uh, just as simple. <laughs> it literally looks like he just saw a ghost and he's trying to tell people about it, but they won't freaking believe him. If you didn't know who Tiger Woods was and you just saw this picture, would you believe that this man is worth $800 million? This man is dead. Damn near a freaking billionaire. The only thing that billionaires can really go to jail for is freaking tax evasion. Anything else is fair freaking game. Tiger Woods could literally plot to blow up the White House, actually do it, say he did it, and still not go to freaking jail. He might get assassinated, but he's definitely not going to jail. So did you really think that he was gonna go to jail for freaking a DUI? Hell no! He can literally record himself raping your wife and you still wouldn't be able to do a damn thing about it. Tiger Woods is so freaking rich that him going bald is literally just a freaking choice to him! This man chose to go bald! You mean to tell me that this man was making 50 million dollars a year and he chose to go bald? I don't think so. I have a theory. I think that golf is just a huge freaking money laundering scheme. Cause let's be honest, WHO IS WATCHING FREAKING GOLF?! I wouldn't even put golf on in the freaking background. I mean just think about it, if nobody's watching golf, where's the money coming from? And that's where I was wrong. It doesn't matter how many people watch golf, it just matters who watches golf. I'm gonna be 100% honest, when I think about the people that actually watch golf, this is what they look like. Now when you compare this sport to other sports like let's say football, this might be the stereotype of the type of people that watch freaking football. Would you guys consider jacking off to be a sport? And that is why it doesn't matter how many people watches, it just matters who watches. I mean let's be honest, who do you think is spending more money? Let's get these quarterlies or pass the fucking sig. Let's be freaking honest here. Even in the pictures you can tell that they're spending somebody else's freaking money. You can tell that this guy's just spending his dad's money. I mean, just look at him. He fits the exact description. He looks like Jonah Hill from Superbad, but just with a different freaking haircut. And just by looking at this guy, you can tell that he does not want to freaking be there. I mean, just look at his freaking eyes. This guy look, he looks like he's freaking high. He looks like freaking Stink Meaner from freaking Boondocks. This guy looks like a 2020 diversity hire, let's be honest. And then this guy looks like he gets all the freaking girls. That's the only reason why these two freaking talk to him. The guy straight up looks like freaking Thor. Now, a group like this does not assemble ordinarily. They have to have a freaking common goal, and the common goal is to sell drugs. Let's be honest. Now before you click off this video, I have a valuable explanation for this. Picture these three hosting a golfing tournament where the only people show up are people with net worths above $1 million. Not only are their net worths above $1 million, but the players, I mean, look at Tiger Woods. Do you really think he got arrested for a DUI? This man was doing nothing but hardcore drugs. Look at him. I mean, just look at him. The man is a billionaire. You don't think he paid them to say that? A DUI. F*** out of here. This man was on freaking crack. So not only are they selling to the players, but they are also selling to the people that attend the event. So when you see a crowd size of about 200 people, but you see that they fundraise, 200 million dollars, now you know why. Because let's be honest, who watches golf? This is the only reason that this can be explained. This is the only reason why I can come up with a good reason for people to actually watch and enjoy freaking golf. No offense, but how is golf even considered a freaking sport? They don't even walk to the freaking golf ball that they just hit in a freaking golf cart. Would you guys consider jacking off to be a sport? If people can sit back and label goddamn golf, which is the boringest freaking sport in the world, a goddamn sport, if you can label that shit as a sport, and if you can label goddamn fishing as a sport, I know damn well you can label jacking off a sport think about it what the f athletically are you really doing in, in golf my nigga? all you doing is hitting the goddamn golf club oh my god man that's a long birdie man nice birdie nice putt man it went 250 years. get the f out of here nobody care about that boring ass shit who the f really watches golf my nigga? 
Nobody gives a f It makes you just fall asleep. You know what's sad? When the mini version of something is better than the actual thing. Take golf, for instance. Why is mini golf so much better than regular freaking golf? Mini golf is straight up made for like freaking two year olds and it still goes harder than regular freaking golf. I mean, the mini golf course is straight up look like it came out of freaking Chuck E. Cheese, my guy. And even if it's not Chuck E. Cheese, mini golf will straight up have you on a freaking trip, my guy. I mean, the stuff that they make you do in mini golf makes no freaking sense, but it still goes harder than freaking golf. Your goal, save the city from destruction. Guide your ball to the golden hydrant to alert the firefighters who are fast asleep in the firehouse. Get it down there. See, mini golf straight up came with the freaking storyline. If you play regular golf, you're just playing for the heck of it. You're just playing to sell freaking crack to your friends. I mean, be honest. If you told somebody right now that you're going to go play golf with your friends, do you think they would actually freaking believe you? Hell no! Wanna know why? It's because GOLF IS FREAKING BORING! If my dad ever told me that he was gonna go play freaking golf, I would just have to expect that he's never coming back. Because once again, GOLF IS FREAKING BORING! No offense, but how did golf even get considered to be a freaking sport? I think if golf can be a sport, anything can be a sport. Think about it, what the f*** ass lately are you really doing in, in golf, my f***? I'm tired of going to freaking dicks just to see the biggest picture of a retired golfer that I've ever freaking seen in my life. Like, how are people that play golf even considered freaking athletes? If you consider golfers to be athletes and cheer leaders should be athletes too let's be honest i don't know about you but i've been trying to do a flip for my entire life and i haven't landed that once and you got cheerleaders out here doing it like it's freaking nothing my guy how is golf considered a freaking sport but cheerleading isn't even when you google why is golf considered a sport they still try to give you a lame excuse they try to say that it's highly competitive but a freaking spelling bee can be highly competitive they try to say that it requires the mental capacity but so does freaking everything else according to them going to school could be considered a freaking sport and last but not least it demands physical exertion and muscle use are you freaking serious? Golfers have to be the laziest athlete of all freaking time. They don't even freaking walk to the golf ball that they just freaking hit. They get in a freaking golf cart. The only muscle that they're exercising is their freaking calf when they press the freaking pedal. Literally pretty much any other sport where you start freaking walking, you get freaking roasted by the coaches just for freaking walking. Even it's just to get freaking water and you got golfers literally getting on a freaking golf cart and they get considered to be freaking athletes. Are you freaking serious? I wouldn't be surprised if freaking swimmers got roasted for walking during practice and they're not even on freaking land. If you would like to support one poor kid's dream to drop out of college, Cool. Then subscribing and sharing the video would help your boy out a lot. And it would also help me be more financially independent for my mom. But if you would like to support your boy financially, I'm also selling a facial massager. When you roll it on your face, it can help to prevent pimples and acne by promoting blood circulation underneath your skin. It also vibrates, so when you get bored in the shower, you can... I'm just kidding, but it does vibrate though. It's also water resistant, so when you start using it in the shower and you start to play with yourself, you won't get shocked brutally. For some stupid reason, when I was younger and I had a pimple on my face, I would put ice on it and it helped out a lot. Face a massager and ice are always cold, just like my ex-girlfriend's heart. What I'm trying to say is that it feels even better in the summer. I'm also a broke college student, so I couldn't afford to produce a lot of them, but you can see if it's available in the description down below. That's it for this week. Uh, new videos every Friday and uh... Oh, shit. Subscribe, motherfucker.